So we know just by what we've seen recently with a few actors that were cast early on for Marvel Studios that ended up appearing in other projects first before they show up in the big project that they were cast for, which has recently brought about the discussion of Blade. Um, Blade is something that many people are like, well, I mean, this fits right in with the likes of Moon Knight. And also recently, it was just, I believe it was Kevin Smith, was it, that said that he was working with Marvel TV like a year and a half ago. And he was like, hey, can I use Werewolf by Night? They're like, oh, no, Marvel Studios is using that right now. So, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. reading between That was when lines, he was doing his, um, oh, what show was he doing? Was I, he Howard the Duck? I was going to say, I want to say Howard the Duck, but I don't want to commit to it and be wrong. But I think so. Instead, see, the Howard the Duck or Hitmonkey, there's no way they'd get Kevin Smith to do the the Dazzler and Tigra thing they oh, were going to no. do. No way. No. Um. So, with all that kind of out there now, let's talk a little bit about Werewolf by Night first. This character is 100% appearing in like either Multiverse or Moon Knight. I mean, Moon Knight is a perfect fit. Like, I'd put money on Moon Knight, yeah. It's... Or even Blade, for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Like the movie Blade. Which also then brings us to talking about Blade and the rumors that, well, yeah, this character might be appearing in Moon Knight. And if they cast him so early and want that character out there to gauge the audience and just get people hyped for Blade's first entry, wouldn't you want him in Moon Knight? I mean, especially yeah, since the yeah. series I is going to take... Mean... Like... Yeah, I mean... It... It's um yeah you, you could because they they could spin it a, a little a little bit differently how I think it was um one of Blade's uh, um reboots because they were gonna they were going to reboot Blade on the comic side by giving him another ongoing but it didn't go anywhere where they kind of changed him that he still primarily hunts uh, vampires but they also were trying to make him into an actual uh monster hunter as mm -hmm. well. Yep. Kind of, yeah, kind of more like Buffy, I guess. That's the best way to, make yeah, like, it. yeah, like it's primarily uh, prey is vampires. But if someone asks him to, to take care of a, a, a lichen or a small mm -hmm. monster, he'll do it. Which that honestly is a perfect end to be able to stretch Blade out more than just vampires constantly, because that kind of gets boring and you run into storytelling problems because you can only go one direction and that's dracula and once you're done dracula you can't do anything else so it's like uh, it's, uh, uh, yeah i guess technically you can do vampire gods but that's a whole different thing that you have to pull in <laughs> so uh yeah it's like yeah but I, I i would like it if they if they did go in that direction where you know his primary target is vampires but he can go over or uh, go hunt other supernatural beings as well and that's where you can have other stories, including like Moon Knight and uh, and all all the rest of the Marvel cast that you know show up and do, does that the supernatural stuff. You can even have uh, also have uh, run-ins with uh, Midnight Suns with Ghost Rider and all of them. Yeah, exactly. So make him blade like a monster hunter. It's like you're just encroaching on Elsa Bloodstone's territory. I mean, but that's that's the, that's the yeah, thing. Yeah. They were they were already trying to do that because you know you, there's only so much you can do with just vampires. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, he's been doing just vampires for how many years now? Which is uh, exactly uh, why he's uh, not yeah, running comics. <laughs> on and off. As a Blade fanatic. I mean, he's literally an Avenger right now. He led that title for a good few issues recently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it certainly is an interesting way they're approaching that uh, yeah. character. It's just like you're an Avenger, but we doing hunting vampires. Well, is that I, it? Yeah. I think there's. He's always... now the sheriff, actually, of uh, the new vampire country in Russia in the comics. This yeah. is what we uh, need in the MC <laughs> vampire <laughs> countries. Is it, yeah, he's getting. The, he's also getting a one shot as well this this fall. I forgot what's the dark. Is it dark hole? That that event that was supposed to happen last year. Oh, the yeah, dark yeah. holes, doom and wonder, wonder, isn't it? Yeah, because I know they're having some one shots with during the event this fall. I think because um, it, it was supposed to happen last year. But yeah, I I, I haven't kept up with it. No, I just saw like they were trying to advertise it, but but and then the, it got me confused because they have that many events that was supposed to happen last year, and then this year they have that whole Dark Ages thing that's supposed mm. to happen as well. So it's like 
you know, got yeah. two events going on at once. I do want to bring this up since we are talking about the comics and everything. Do you think they go more comic route and actually make him how he's supposed to be, aka not Wesley Snipes and more British? Because Blade is not really how he is in the movies. People don't understand that. Um, the movies are a very particular time and place that that character was existing in. And the comics at the time kind of tried to mirror it to backpedal off the movie success. But Eric Brooks, that character, is not really that movie version. Like, he's way more personality. And he has a way to him that I think gives him more humanity in the I, comics. Unless they're trying to go a different direction uh, with Blade. I don't know if I could see it because... And that's how they portrayed him yeah. <laughs> for the longest time since the original movie. Yeah, where they just they just kept. They just kept I mean, they, they've always been quite good at sticking to what they're supposed to be, and you know, mm. they 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 changed Spider Man up a little bit because yeah. of what came before it. Like yeah. people know those Blade movies, so I, they're not gonna just copy and paste it. They'll they'll change it. Yeah, yeah. Just, uh, I'm just just wondering because like for like the comics wise. Uh, it's been movie blade in the comics for I don't know how many years and there's some there's been, the, like, movie, the last 20 <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, some writers have tried to but for whatever reason they just it just devolves back into yeah. oh this is movie blade I'll tell you Jason comics. Aaron Jason Aaron's very much on the movie blade train it's yeah. just like, oh, oh I mean I think they're gonna you know Kevin Feige is like looking over Marvel comics I think inevitably in the next year when Blade gets a new solo and it goes back, you know, they're going to pitch it as back to basics and here's this outfit and it's set in the mm. 70s or 80s. We're kind of going to start to feed that this is Blade and then use that because we've seen in recent years when a character re-debuts and they got a new style and everything, it tends to line up with some of the direction they're going with for the films or live action. So... I'm going to expect that change is probably going to happen soonish. It's like, oh, okay, we're going to go a little more different. Not so black leather coat matrix still. It's like, mm. guys, that was 20 years ago. Come on. It's just, just change a little here. Like, <laughs> uh, Although I do like that whole leather black matrix look, you know, like nostalgia. But sometimes you just need go to Go back it. to the green glasses. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oddly enough, from from the um, from the concept art from the canceled ongoing, he instead of glasses, they gave him goggles. Boo. <laughs> maybe maybe it's like the movie They Live. He puts them on, and then he can see who's a vampire or a monster, and he'll be like, Ugh. I mean, there there is some there is some utility that could happen there, but I guess it was just easier because he's gonna be having blood all over the place and it's easier true, to wipe, wipe them off than <laughs> having glasses well i suppose we'll know more about blade soon hopefully we'll see him in moon knight as some people have suggested if not uh wait till blade i guess mm.